This portion of our exhibit covers the food that would have been used during the Vietnam War. Most individuals got what they referred to as a sea ration three times a day for food, one for breakfast, one for lunch, one for dinner. The term sea ration actually dates back to World War II for a specific type of individual meal. By Vietnam, the term was still in use, but the meal was actually a meal combat individual or MCI meal. The brown box indicates the box that would have been used for the meal. The green cans are food items that would come in the box or sometimes in larger boxes, for an example, that would be used for a squad. For instance, this can here once had bacon in it, and this can here still has white bread in it. The large green canister is what's referred to as a mermite can. These cans would be brought out to troops in the field with hot and or cold rations in them in these individual containers. By the end of Vietnam, you start seeing the development of food in the form of a LERP ration, which all the items were freeze dried and water had to be added to rehydrate the meal before eating. During the Vietnam War, they also had guys issued meat cans or mess tins to hold their food items in if they were in a rear area or if they had a mermite can brought forward for them to a forward area. Most of the time, the food was cold, so it had to be heated up if the time permitted before it could be eaten. This is an example of a trioxane tablet that could be used to heat the food. Each one of these packages were an alcohol-based bar that could be broken into thirds to be cooked off of. Or you had fuel cans that could also be opened like a modern sterno can to be cooked off of. The trioxane tablet could be put under actually a, a food item can to actually be cooked off of, like in the case of this coffee cup that was actually made out of a bread can 